What is the purpose of a silent retreat? Ignatius of Loyola, in the 20th paragraph of Spiritual Exercises, says there's at least three good reasons. The first one is that it pleases God, he says. What a wonderful thing to think about. When we make time for a friend, they feel great. And the same happens with God. When we make time for God, it pleases God. So the second is that it does us good. Ignatius says at a natural level, when we make silence, we're able to concentrate better and we have less distractions. I might be thinking about the purpose of life one day in my kitchen, but I get a text and all of a sudden I forget about it. I might pick it up uh, weeks later. In the silent retreat, you're able to keep that train of thought. It allows you to go deeper within yourself. And finally, if the first one is about God, pleases God, the second one is about us, it helps us. The third one is about the relationship. Ignatius says, when we do a silent retreat, our relationship with God becomes more close, intimate. It strengthens as when we spend time with a friend, we become better friends the more time we spend together. So we get rid of all distractions so we can focus on that one relationship with the Lord. So as the purpose of a silent retreat, it's great for God, for us and for the relationship. And if you're having questions more about a content of a silent retreat, what happens inside it, we'll talk about it in the next video. Okay, I'll see you around.